Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kei. So this is the 10th of September on Friday. So happy Friday everyone. So let's screen charts now and see what's happening in the markets. So uh, since this is Friday, if we don't see any good trading edges, then simply stay away and come back to the charts next Monday. No rush to trades because opportunities are every day. The market's running every day, so no rush. Always wait for the next chance and be patient for that. All right, so yeah, let's uh, start the session. Um, let's see, let me squeeze my face. Okay, and um, so before starting here, just a quick disclaimer as usual. Uh, this information is um, basically based on my own views and understanding. So when you take trades, please do add in risk. And also, if you can please follow the guidelines and rules on this live stream, that would be great. So uh, I do see many people joining here today also. So it's very nice to see everyone once again on this live stream. So um, let me see. So yes, I we have uh, Anham Dao and Agani on Welcome to Ichimoku Community. So this is my Ichimoku Community. Uh, you can get the perks. Uh, many perks including three books about Ichimoku these are written by myself not the direct translation but you get these books in English and also Ichimoku live streams membership only live streams and also Q&A session and quizzes and all the perks so uh, once you join the uh, community please come to this uh, web, web page Case Ichimoku Community webpage by clicking services and Ichimoku Community and scroll down and you can find the button here. Click here to join Ichimoku Discord. So make sure to click this one and then you will have the pop up page and you can connect your Discord to this uh, to the community here. So, because unless you come to the Discord and connect the Discord to YouTube, you can't uh, get all the perks. So make sure you join the community and Discord as well. Because I get these emails recently from a couple of uh, new joiners for Ichimoku members that they cannot get the perks. So you have to join Discord to get all the perks. Just as a quick reminder. Okay, but uh, yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Ichimoku community and stay gold. All right, so let's see who else is here. RSI, Carbon, and Tam, good to see you again. Thomas, Sorosh, Nami, Asif, Celine, Gabby, good to see you. James and Nguyen, Anis, Saman, David, good to see you too. James and Tan, Fight, John, Zach, Kishore, Juan. Thank you for joining. Great to see you again. Victor Akbar and um, Juande AK and um, Manhom Han. Thank you for joining as well. Great to see you. So let's jump into some markets and see what's happening right now. So today, once again, the market looks to be flat. So I have already screened the charts by daily chart and it looks like everything is flat. And weekly chart, the weekly charts are also flat or in the Kumo now. So I guess in this case, what I do usually is I first check the news. So I go to the calendar, economic calendar, and we found a couple of big events today in Friday. There was a CPI index of consumer price uh, in Germany so euro was there and also another uh, uh, president regarding the speech of ECB so euro could be affected by that and also uh, a little earlier there was a uh, unemployment rate in Canada so the turnout of the unemployment rate in Canada was positive positive it was 7.1 um, better than the previous better than consensus so uh, because this is 
unemployment rate. So you have to go backwards in the price, I mean the, the number. The, the less is the number, the better the result. So 7.1 was better unemployment rate than consensus previous. However, if you look at the currency strength chart, looks like Canada is not that strong still. It's a bit weaker now. It's getting weaker. And if you see the market overall right now, it's becoming range or reversing backwards because you see these strings charts are squeezing, like overall strings charts are squeezing. So uh, this is contracting and uh, this is retracing backwards on all the pairs. So obviously this is not a good time to trade. So let's look into some markets by the price action and the Ichimoku to see what's really happening in the market uh, by technical analysis. So Euro dollar is exactly in the Kumo now, it's flat and Chikou Span touching. As we talked about the Chikou Span yesterday, about the basics about the Chikou Span, it's, it's touching the candles and it shows a range market. So this is no trend in the daily chart, oh, sorry, weekly chart. And on the daily chart also it's flat because the price is about to be in the Kumo now and Kumo flat itself, Kijun Sen is flat and Chikou Span has been overlapping. So this is range and there is no direction in this case. And then let's see, Euro AUD is also below the Kijun Sen but Kijun Sen is flat and Chikou Span touching Kumo flat so this is no trend. Um, so this Kumo is, you know, if you're not familiar with the Kumo, this is the upper part is called the Senko Span A, which is retracing backwards now, and Senko Span B is the lower part of the Kumo. And so this is bullish Kumo, it's bullish, and technically the price is above the Kumo, so this is still uptrend or bullish in the long term. And once the market breaks the Kumo, then in the long term it becomes bearish and from the short to mid term it be also becomes bearish. So right now in terms of the bullish or bearishness, since Tenkan Sen, the blue one is called the Tenkan Sen, and Tenkan Sen shows a short term momentum, so the price is below the Tenkan Sen, that means this is bearish in the short term, and the green one is called the Kijun Sen. And the price is now below the Kijun Sen, this is also bearish in the mid term. But in the long term, this is bullish because the price is above the Kumo and also above this Senko Span B. But right now, obviously, it's retracing backwards and it may break the Kumo if it keeps going down this way. And you can tell from the Kumo shape whether the market retracing backwards or not. And you can mainly look at the Senko Span A. So if you look at the Senko Span A like this, it's retracing backwards and um, the, if the Senko Span A touches Senko Span B and breaks through the Senko Span B downwards, this is dead cross of Senko Span and B and that's when you have the Kumo twist and the market continue to go downwards, potentially speaking. So today's topic is about the Senko Span A. Let's focus on the Senko Span A as the market has been retracing, ranging, because Senko Span A is also very important as one of the lines for Ichimoku. So let's look at some other markets now. So here is Euro Pound and it's flat also. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span retracing, back to the candles and this is, there is no trend at the moment. And if you look at the single span A, it is downwards. So let me enlarge, let me zoom in. And if you look at the Kumo here, single span A is technically pointing downwards, but this is not the downtrend. Because if you see single span A, from the previous levels, this is, uh, this is um, higher lows. The lows are getting higher for single span A. So this is more of uptrend in this way. Most likely single span A twists bullish 
to single, as the single span B remains flat like this. And once you see single span A twist, then that will turn to the bullish Kumo and the market may continue to go up in this direction. But uh, at this moment, we can't tell which way it really goes because the price is now flat. But once you see the Kumo breakout, then single span A may twist upwards and you see the continuous bullish trend, possibly speaking. So single span A is, I think it's a bit mysterious because single span B simply takes the previous 52 high and low and it shifted 26 candles to the future. So simply if you count the number of candles from the, the most recent candlestick to the single span B and A, uh, you get uh, 26 candles, 26 bars. So Kumo is shifted 26 candles forward as a reference to the future market momentum and the single span B shows the long-term market momentum. And single span A is a supportive line to single span B. So um, yeah, so let me get the essence of the single span A in this live stream. And the, the so whenever you look at the single span A, um, one thing that it's obvious is that when the market retraces backwards, so like this one, Euro JPY, um, you can see that the single span B is flat right now, and the single span A has been retracing backwards to single span B. So when the Kumo's bearish, if you're new to Ichimoku, when the Kumo's bearish trend, then single span B is the upper part and single span A is, is the lower part. So when you see single span A retracing backwards like this, the market is retracing backwards. As you can see here, the market retraces backwards. And this is not the good timing to sell or buy in this case. This is a very important rule. Whenever you see single span A retracing, you never take trades because technically you don't know which way the market is going in this particular time frame. Of course, if you look at the lower time frames here, like one hour chart, four hour chart, it might be uptrending because, but as per daily chart basis, single span A retracing backwards to single span B and it's, it is retracing backwards now. And one thing that is also important to remember is it is single span A that comes closer to single span B. Um, when you think about it, single span B never comes closer to single span A in twist. It never happens like that. So for example, from here, it doesn't never happens where single span A goes flat from here and single span B gets closer to single span A in twist. This never happens as Ichimoku nature. If you, um, if you study about the calculation, it's obvious that it doesn't happen because simply single span B is longer term and longer span than single span A in its calculation. So, so one thing to remember is that that is single span A that comes closer and closer to single span B while single span B remains flat like this and twist, bullish. So that means when you see single span A retracing and getting closer and closer to the single span B, that's when you should not take trace. Because it's in, it's in the middle, middle of the retracement. Yeah, I hope you get this idea correctly because this is very important and practical. So um, let me go back some candles exactly and show exactly when single span A start to retrace back to single span B. So let me do this bar replay and maybe starting from here. Um, forwarding a chart a bit more like this. You can see in this condition, single span B is flat, but uh, single span A is pointing downwards, right? So this is bearish and Chikou span below the candles 
price below Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, and this is bearish, right? It's bearish. So in this condition, you can continuously look for the sell chance, and also you can expect this P wave. This uh, you can draw the P wave can be broken downwards in this condition. Hold on P wave like this and you can expect the market breaks in this way. Yeah. And let's forward some candles until we see Senko Span A retraces. So we know the market went downwards afterwards. And here in this condition Kumo Senko Span B and F down. Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below the candles. And this is bearish in terms of Ichimoku trend analysis. This is bearish definition. It broke the previous support also, and this is bearish. So you can look for the sell chance in this condition. And then, as you monitor the chart, you see Kumo flat now. And what I mean by Kumo flat, Every time I say in the live streams, I say Kumo flat, that means this is, the Kumo itself is bearish. Itself is bearish. However, if you look at the angle of Senko Span B and A, they are flat. Right, Senko Span B and A are flat. So that means, right, that means what happened, what's happening in the market is now it's ranging. The market is going sideways, and that's why Senko Span BA becomes flat. And when you see Senko Span BA flat, that means the market might go up or it might go down, and this is in 50 50 chance. But when you see Senko Span B down, A down, and everything down, Chiko Span below the candles, it was still bearish, is like 60 70 versus bullish is like 30 or 40, for example. But now, since Senko Span BA both became flat, the chance for the market to go up or down becomes 50-50 now. And when you see the market is in 50-50 equilibrium between bullish and bearish power, then you don't wanna take trades because it might go into the range or it might retrace backwards. But even if it, if, even if it retraces backwards, um, it might not go up so fast. It might be ranging and goes up gradually and go down and goes up like this and it might become a very tricky market. Usually when the market retraces, it moves like this because there are still um, sellers in the long term and buyers in the short term are fighting in this condition. So the market might be spiky and the market might be a bit tricky, especially in lower time frames. So, uh, so this is when I don't look for the sell chance anymore. And afterwards, what's gonna happen is that please focus on the single span A today. Only look at the single span A and see how it behaves as the market retraces. Okay, so single span A, the market retraces backwards. And okay, so in this case, single span B became down, but it goes soon flat. It never goes down to single span A. Single span B will become flat soon, so just watch out. Okay, so here single span B became flat and single span A started to retrace backwards. You see single span B flat and single span A retraces backwards, and this is when you really don't look for the sell chance anymore. And in this condition, you know that you don't look for the sell because you see Chikou span touching, and price broke the Kijun Sen, and now it's heading backwards to the Kumo. But based on this angle of single span B and A, you can also tell that this is not the good timing to sell or buy in this particular time frame. And if I forward the chart a bit more like this, single span A retraces backwards, 
and the single span B remains flat, and they cross. They are about to cross today, like this. So this is today's candlestick, and so th that's why I don't look for any trading edges in this particular condition, because it's range, as per daily chart. So with that in mind, let's look at some markets and talk about Kumo Senko Span A, especially. So here is EuroCAD, Senko Span A is pointing up, but Senko Span B remains flat, so this is overall flat Kumo. This is overall flat Kumo, and you can also tell that the market is has been ranging up and down, it's flat Kumo, so there is no trend and no trace. Um, Euro Swiss fan also about the Kumo twist, but you can also see that it is single span A that retraces backwards to single span B, and in few days it might twist bullish like this. So, yeah, uh, Dollar JPY also single span A retraces backwards while price remains flat. Okay, Dara switch fran, the Kumo twisted bullish, but this Kumo is too young, too short, to be trustable, and the, the market is still range. And USCCAD, single span A is pointing up, but uh, this is overall flat Kumo still, because uh, the single span A's previous high is here. So technically, we want to wait until the market breaks, the previous single span A level, I mean, sorry, the um, wait for this single span A to break the previous single span A level to be trustable Kumo upwards as the market goes up continuously and then look for buy chance afterwards. So this is still range in terms of Ichimoku here, Kumo condition. Pound dollar too flat, Kumo. So pound JPY, uh, Kumo twisted, but uh, this is too short, too young to be trustable. So the market could be up and down. We don't know which it's going right now. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at some other good examples. So maybe this one, pound Swiss run. The market retraces backwards all the way and Kumo is about to twist. But you can also see that the single span A is about to touch single span B and about to cross. So it is single span A that comes closer to single span B and twists the Kumo. AUDC it is also a good example about that too. Single span A retraces and it's about to touch the single span B to twist. So uh, yeah, in that sense, this is all range. If you only look at the Kuma also, you can also tell that this is range. So uh, yeah, basically this is, right now is a very difficult market to trade. So if you don't see any good setups, I recommend you to stay away from charts and come back next Monday. All right, do you have any questions about the Kumo itself today, single span A or single span B? Any questions or comments? If you do, then please let me know in the chat. I'm here to answer any questions. So uh, yeah, from October, um, in the Ichimoku community, I will cover the Ichimoku Basic Masterbook and Ichimoku Basic Theories book one by one, so that the, uh, you can have the deeper understanding about these, each line of Ichimoku, and also the concept, overall concept about the Ichimoku. So, because first, if I see the, first, I, when I saw these five lines, I thought it's complicated, and I was bit staying away from the Ichimoku. I prefer to use moving average and other indicators, but, once after I get this good understanding about Ichimoku, then this works the best for me.
So hopefully、um, you can understand and get the essence of Ichimoku to be able to use in your day to day analysis. It's my YouTube's、uh, purpose and also my hope to everyone. Let's see. Let me come back to some comments now. Thank you for joining, everyone. Great to see you once again. AK says,、um, Can we use Ichimoku for short term stock investment? I don't recommend you to use in short term.、Uh, short term, meaning like scalping, would be not really ideal. I think day to swing traders, Ichimoku works greater. Let's see. Mo7 says, Hello, K. Sometimes I catch big wins, but small consistent losses are keeping me in drawdown. My win rate is 30% and I take one to two trades a day. What should I do to solve these problems? Thanks.、Um, that is a very interesting question. I think、uh, you have to, first of all, my question is what was your backtesting result? Did you backtest your Strategy and performance because unless you backtest, you don't know how many losses are acceptable and how many drawdown is acceptable. And if you feel that it's not acceptable, then I recommend you to backtest by using like Forex Tester or any other tools and get the stats. Get the stats of max consecutive losses, max consecutive wins. And average drawdown, max drawdown, and profit factor, win rate, everything. And then start to practice in the real, real live trades.、Uh, this is actually, I think, one of the very common questions. So I think this is a good time to answer. Sometimes I get these questions also. Like,、uh, so I lost three times today and I don't know what to do. So, I doubt my strategy doesn't work or I'm not really in discipline. And my answer is you have these doubts and you have these questions because you don't know your performance objectively. objectively. So,、uh, but, so, because it's like,、uh, how do you say? Like,、uh, for example,、um, uh, what would be a good example for that? Like, if you don't know your performance, Then you cannot evaluate yourself. You cannot know whether you're doing good or bad, or whether you're doing better or worse. You don't know if you don't have the standard, like a、uh, tested performance、uh, result in hand. So let's say you run the like 50 meters in seven seconds. Let's say 50 meters, seven seconds you can run. In normal condition, but let's say you run every time you run on that day, 50 meter takes eight seconds. So, if you run just run 50 meters in eight, eight seconds, then you might get discouraged because your performance is not really great than usual. But、uh, some other day, you might be able to run 50 meters. In 6.5 seconds. That will be much faster than 7 seconds, and then you know the performance is much better than average. So,、um, but unless you know your, your own performance, that you can run 50 meters in 7 seconds, you can't evaluate yourself whether 8 minutes is, 8 seconds is, you know,、uh, worse or better or 6.5 seconds is worse or better. It's like this. So,、um, uh, you know, I know that the purpose to study about Ichimoku, the purpose to study about the strategies is to make profits. And、uh, this is also about the psychology, a mindset、um, that, you know, people or human itself, you know, Uh, feel more pain in losses than joy or you know,、uh, pleasure in gains. So we feel more painful in the losses than joy in the gains. And that's why 
you might feel more pain in the losses than more joy or pleasure in the wins, even though they are break even. So I think it's all, all about the psychology also, but it's all about the performance. If you, know, if you don't know about your performance, then、uh, please verify it by back testing, or you can forward test. Maybe you can、uh, try your、um, strategy for the next future three months or so and get the stats. And after three months, you test forward and evaluate your future performance to the previous month's performance. And you get the mean, you get the average performance. So, Yeah, because、uh, that was exactly the same questions before I had when I was a newbie. Because I was trying hard to study about the strategies and entries and exits and looking for these confirmations. But,、uh, you know, sometimes I was doing super well on one month, but other months w a s really bad. So the performance was ups and downs. Just like, you know, just like、uh, cryptocurrency or whatever, the market was. My performance went up and down, up and down very sharply, and I was always worried about being consistent on this performance. But、uh, so that's also when I decided to backtest my strategy and really test my performance in the previous charts. So I picked up whatever the charts it was in the past, in the major, major pair or minor pair. And I tested at least 100 trays. So I took the Forex tester and I used to run it for about、uh, 10 years or 5 years range. And、uh, until I, I'm down with 10 or 100 trays, I kept trading in,、uh, with my strategy. And then if I trade 100 times, Then I know when I lose and I know when I possibly win, and I can come up with new strategy about how to exit earlier or how to trail the profits more. And then、um, you have the result stats, and based on that stats, you actually、uh, go to the real charts and start to take trades real. So, I think that will be the advice you should do. Always place a stop loss, always calculate the risk management, and also psychological management too. And also, if you don't feel that your strategy is not working today or this week, then simply stay away from the chart and come back tomorrow or next week. It's my advice. Okay, I hope you get this idea here. I think this was an important topic, so that's why I just wanted to mention that to everyone here in the community. All right, hello everyone, thank you for joining. Once again, good to see you here. Um, let's see. The next comment is、um, John Hera says, Would this be also detected on lower time frames such as 5, 15, or 30?、Um, I don't recommend you to use it in the lower time frames.、Um, probably one hour or above would be more reliable. Impact says, Can you? Can you The RSI, can you use the RSI for head and shoulder reversal? Yeah, you can. You can, yeah. If you see divergence, then that will be the reversal confirmation too. Personally, I use stochastics, but you can do the same in RSI or MACD. So, Rush says, K san, is there any way to trade in the Kumo?、Uh, yes, there is a way. Um, let me pick up the market that is in the Kumo now. Let's see. Euro Swiss franc,、um, JPY, hold on, let's see. 
I'm just looking at some good example. When the market is in the Kumo, basically that means the market might be spiky and range and tricky, but there is a way to trade while markets in the Kumo. So for example, this one, Pound JPY, the market is technically still in the Kumo now and looks like market resisted at the Senkospan B in the daily chart. So in this case, um, it's either you wait or you go down to the lower time frames. For example, one hour chart. You go down to one hour chart and in one hour chart, you see different Kumo, different Ichimoku lines. And simply if you see uptrend here, where Kumo goes up, like here where Kumo goes up, points up, Kijun Sen goes up and Chikou span above the candles, you can follow this one hour chart. And if I switch back to the daily chart, you can see the price, the market is still in the Kumo now. But technically, you can follow the uptrend in the one hour chart. This is one way to trade. You can lower the time frames to capture the lower time frame trend direction. And most likely, this is going to be an intraday trade because one hour chart trend doesn't last that long usually it goes flat or it retraces backwards soon simply because this is one hour chart and also this is um, uh, in, in the Kumo in the daily chart so it might retrace backwards soon so let's say you take a buy here let's say you take a buy here and when you look for exit it will be when you see Kumo start to go flat so Okay, already here. Oh, no, let's see. So still Kumo's up. Senko span A is still upwards. Still upwards, Senko span A. And it is still up now. So, but Kijun Sen flat now. So, and you see consecutive doji candles in one hour chart. And most likely, this is a timing to look for the exit timing. So you may want to exit here, somewhere, and you only get these pips here, which is about 16 pips of profit you get. So this is one way to trade in the Kumo. So once again, in the daily chart, the market was in the Kumo, but um, in one hour chart, it was still uptrend and you can follow that uptrend. If you trade it all the way down here, you may be able to get more pips to the upside until Kijun Sen goes flat in one hour chart. Alright, so let's come back to some comments now again. Fight says, can you please analyze one pair top down using Senko Span? Um, sure. Okay, so let's check. Let's take Euro Dollar. And on the weekly chart, Senko Span BA flat. So I think this is all flat. I think today's, like almost all the markets are flat now. So I think this is not a good, good example. Let me check some other markets, maybe gold. Um, looks like gold is also range right now. There is no trend. In the daily chart, it's also flat Kumo, so no trends. Um, let me see. US oil is also flat. Um, let's see what else we can find. Maybe some index. Oh yeah, maybe this one is good. Uh, Nasdaq. Let's take Nasdaq as example. So Nasdaq on the weekly time frame, Kumo's up, Senko Span A's up, and Kumo itself has been bullish. So this is uptrend as per weekly chart. 
And if you look at the daily chart, the Kumo angle becomes a bit flat, but this is technically up because single span A is still continuously moving up. So it's uptrend as per Kumo. And if you drop down to the forward chart, you see Kumo is flat now. So there is no trend in the forward chart. However, there is a trend in the daily chart and also the weekly chart. So there is a possibility that the market goes up continuously as per weekly and daily uptrend. But since right now in the forward chart it's flat, so in a forward chart basis it might go flat a bit more, it might go down or flat a bit more until the market goes up in this way. So this is the multiple time frames and also if you go down to one hour, I think Kumo is also flat, but let me see. Yeah, so here's one hour chart, Kumo flat. So in one hour chart basis also, the Kumo or price, the market remains flat like this until it breaks upwards by following weekly or daily time frame. One says, how many trades do you take a week? Um, between, I would say between uh, three to six trades per week. Yeah, no, no trend and no trades. Yeah, that's a rule, that's a rule. Fam says, K okay, in the uptrend, if the price cut Tenkan Sen and then it will run down to Kijun Sen in the daily chart, right? Um, not always. Sometimes in between Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, the market turns bullish without touching Kijun Sen. But uh, yeah, if, for example, if the uptrend is more than 26 candles, after the previous bounce or breakout of the Kijun Sen, then yes, it may be traced back to Kijun Sen after Tenkan Sen breakout. Yeah, I have Bitcoin here. Let's see, let me take a look at the Bitcoin also. Okay, so let me go to the daily chart. And in the daily chart, the Kumo flat, single span A is flat, single span B is a bit up, but this is flat and range. And Chikou span touching, so this is also range. Looks like Chikou span has been traced in the past candles, so today, tomorrow might be bearish. Tomorrow might be bearish, and the day after tomorrow will be range. And so I think in three days or two or three days would be a key point. If the Chikou span breaks the candles, then it may go down. But if the Chikou span keeps tracing the previous candles like this, which also be possible, then the market might turn bullish in two or three days later. But in terms of Kumo here, it's flat. So there is no direction in the market. Let's see, Anis says, um, hello K, I'm studying the relationship between price and the lines. I noticed that after the Chikou Span breakout, the instant Tenkan Sen under the price is a good visual trading stop loss level. Yeah, Tenkan Sen will be a good stop loss level too. If the market is strongly bullish, then you can take Tenkan Sen for the stop loss. Yeah, more seven, you're welcome. <clears throat> yep, 
AK says, Sir, how will, how will we define a swing trade by Ichimoku standards in terms of day, like 5 days or 15 or 30 days? I would say uh, in Ichimoku would be 30 days for a swing. Joanne says, how, ma how much in percent you get in one month average? That will be between 10 to 20 percent return per monthly basis. Recently, the market's been ranging, so it's not so much, but uh, in average, I get 10 to 20 percent returns throughout the year, every month. Oroka says, this week I tried to follow Huawa chart trend and also tried a daily um, liking sen retracement strategy, uh, but had a losing streak. Okay, what's your opinion on middle time frame trade frequency? How many trades per week? Um, in the middle time frame, you mean in one or 30 minute chart, you might have more opportunities per day than taking four or a daily chart. So uh, per week, maybe you can take trades uh, 14 or 20 trades if you follow the middle time frames only. Because most likely you will be an intraday trader in that case. Let's see. Um, again, he says, um, hello, K. When Kumo is bearish, daily Senko span, every trace is bullish. Senko span B remains flat and Chiko span above the candles. Okay, so that's retracing. Can we go to smaller time frame to find possibly Chiko breakout? Yeah, you can look for the Chiko span breakout in the lower time frame. Most likely, um, in the lower time frame, it calls span above the candles because the market retracing backwards, and calls span breaks above the candles in the higher time frame, and that means most likely in the lower time frame, it calls span above the candles. If the call span is still overlapping in the lower time frame, you better wait for it to come above the candles and look for buy chance afterwards. So it looks like we have no opportunities today. Vinit says, which tool is good for backtesting in stocks index futures? Um, I use Frex Tester for backtesting for indices and commodities and some stock markets. They offer some major stock markets. If you subscribe VIP, then you get these other markets like this. Even cryptos, you can backtest on Frex Tester. But that will be available only with a VIP subscription. Kumo goes up to Kijun Sen, the price is uptrending. Yep. All right, Sorosh and Hoan, you're welcome. Tajino says, uh, let the Kumo be with, uh, with us all. Okay. Let's see. Let me cover some other questions here now. Um, okay, Toy says, Hi K, can I use Ichimoku for stocks investing? 
long term six months to one year like entry price and selling price which time frame would be the best for example daily or weekly chart thank you um, if you invest in the stock markets and I recommend you to use weekly or monthly time frame so let's say it's same as like index almost like if you pick up uh, whatever index for example Dow Jones um, and simply look at the weekly time frame it's been bullish right, you see Kuma has been bullish and Kijun Sen the market has been above the Kijun Sen so in the weekly chart on index it's bullish so we can trail the profits on the weekly chart or the monthly chart if you look at the monthly chart also the market has been bullish too so you can trail the profits along the way but in the daily time frame or the lower time frames like even one hour chart that will be range right now so for the index or the stock markets I recommend you to use monthly or weekly time frame to follow by Ichimoku Jiwande, yes, that's right. That is my average return per monthly basis. And I won't go up to over, I won't go over 300K in my account. I will start to diversify my asset into stocks and indices near future. All right, Nami and Vinit, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you for joining on this live stream today. Um, let's see. Anis says, K, K, um, if if a trade is going, I like to sit through a pullback. But is there a hint by Ichimoku lines, Kumo, that is might be a reversal? Um, if you are asking about predicting it, then you can't do it by Ichimoku, or you can't do it with any indicators. I don't. I don't recommend you to expect anything in the market. Um, you can use time cycles, for example, you can use time cycles and expect a potential retracement or bounce. Because, for example, today, um, pound JPY is at the daily henkabi, what we call henkabi in Japanese. So, in time cycle, um, you see highs are in 14 to uh, 14 to 13, 12 time cycles. So, in today is exactly on the 12th candle from the pre previous high. So, from here, we might retrace backwards until the 20th of September. So, this is one way to expect the market reverses by time cycles, but once again, this is not 100%. So, um, you better look at the Kuma angle, Kijun Sen angle, and Chikou Span to, to, uh, to see whether the market goes bullish or bearish or range. Yeah. So, yeah, do not expect the future movements, but always act by the fact. Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, traders or people think or think to predict the future, but we don't have to predict to make profits. We don't have to. Just be logical and just be objective to the market. 
then you can make profits by that. Biohub says, how much time will it take me to be profitable if I start today after learning all theory and demo account practice? At least I would say half a year to one hour. Sorry, to half a year to one year, not one hour. Half a year to one year, you have to study about markets, price action, Ichimoku, and strategies. And I think there are stages uh, where there are, you know, there are stages where you get the idea of the markets, get the idea of strategies and Ichimoku, and get the idea of bre being break even, and get the idea of a profitable trader. Like there are stages like this, and you can't become a profitable trader in one day or in the next step. The next step after you started the journey is to become a non-losing trader. Because if you are a non-losing trader for the one month or half a year or one year, that means you know how to risk your management. And once you know the risk management, then the step to be profitable becomes much, much easier. And this is based on my own experience. If you look at my profile page, I posted some, uh, some of my previous year's performance, so you can take a look at it. Uh, the blue line is the Tenkan Sen, and green line is the Kijun Sen in my chart color setting. Orca, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, the market looks a bit tricky this week. So, yeah, basically, no rush. Just stay away, is advice. All right, Gabby, thank you for the like button. So, if you liked today's live stream, please press the like button before you leave. And that would be great. Yeah, and Anis, you're welcome too. All right, so I guess I will be ending the live stream because it looks like there is not much of movement in the market. But hopefully in today's live stream, you get the idea of the Kumo, especially Senkospan A, and how to view markets by that line. So uh, yeah, like, uh, like this. Every topic you have to treat nicely, like all the lines of Ichimoku. You have to master one by one, and once you have a good understanding about each line, then try to combine them together with the price action and lines, and then it makes more sense to you. So, Rome wasn't built in one day, so everything should be step by step with consistency. All right, so uh, yeah, I will uh, end the live session today. So thank you for joining once again, and I will see you on the next one. So uh, until then, please stay healthy. Today's Friday, so I hope you have a great Friday, great weekend, and I will see you on the next one. Tomorrow will be psychology. So uh, I hope to see you there soon. So have a great rest of your day. And stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.